How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and today we have something pretty exciting to show you because it has been in SparkX for a little while and now it's making its Redboard debut and that is the Redboard Edge. This is a simple reworking of the normal Redboard that you are all accustomed to and just to make sure that everyone is clear, we're not getting rid of the original Redboards. This is just a new layout that makes everything panel mounted for a smoother and easier finished project. With the SparkFun Redboard Edge, we have managed to include everything user-facing on one side of the board with everything project-facing on the other. At the top of the user-facing side, you'll find a typical 2.1mm barrel jack connector that has been used on the original SparkFun Redboard since its conception. Right below the barrel jack, you'll find that we've included a micro USB connector rather than a mini USB connector since it will make the entire board more versatile in using and frankly everyone has a micro B cable to begin with. Next up is a right angle tactical power switch that is used to control the power to the board. Below the power switch you'll find four status LEDs, one for RX, TX, pin 13, and power. Each has been color coordinated to make sure that they don't accidentally get confused with one another while powering up the device. Last up on the user facing side is a simple right angle reset switch. Meanwhile, on the project facing side there is a two port screw terminal, a quick connector if you want to easily interface I squared C into the right board edge, as well as pins that have been grouped by function, PWM, ADC, SPI, with power rails over 5 volt and ground running parallel to each grouping. There are also four pin power rails for 5 volt and 3.3 volt right next to the 5 mm two pin screw terminal, which is connected to VIN through the toggle switch on the front of the board. Now one of the coolest things that the Redboard Edge does have featured on it is the ability to ground the board to your enclosure through the standoffs next to the barrel jack and the screw terminal. And just as a size comparison, here it is with an original SparkFun Redboard. Just like the original SparkFun Redboard, the Redboard Edge works just fine in the Arduino IDE by either selecting Arduino Uno from the drop down, or if you have the SparkFun boards fully downloaded, you can just select Redboard instead. We've also laser cut this handy little clear plastic enclosure panel to show you what it looks like when the Redboard Edge is actually panel mounted inside of your custom enclosure. It's not too much, but it will give you the dimensions and everything that you need to make your own. And all the files can be found on the product page in the documents tab, so you shouldn't have any problems getting to them. So if you're looking for a more cutting edge type Arduino, make sure to pick up the SparkFun Redboard Edge.